my name is Cody Brown and welcome to Budget Astro and my unbiased review of the Ioptron GEM28. I purchased this mount several months back and have had plenty of time to use it. The mount was purchased by me with my own money so no one is paying for this review other than myself and no one is guiding what I say. So please believe me when I say this is completely unbiased. The Ioptron GM28 has a 28 pound capacity while the mount head only weighs 10 pounds, which makes it extremely portable for the size of the mount. However, I do wish it had some sort of battery pack or way to be powered by battery other than using a portable battery pack like a Jackery or something. The Light Rock tripod it came with is extremely sturdy with its 1.75 inch legs, allowing the mount head to be sturdy during breezy nights. In my experience so far, this mount head has been perfectly reliable with excellent tracking as well as excellent guiding when hooked up with my auto guider. Another added feature that I am really excited about is that it came with a USB cable to hook up to a laptop. And if you happen to be looking for one of these, I highly recommend getting the one pre-equipped with the Ioptron iPolar. It makes polar alignment a breeze. You don't have to bend down, look through the polar scope. You just hook it up to the computer, have it find Polaris, center on it, and you're good to start imaging. In my experience, the Ioptron iPolar has decreased my polar alignment times by half, allowing me to get straight to imaging faster without playing with my mount too much. So now that I've gotten all the good things out of the way, let's talk about the things that I wish this mount had that it doesn't. First things first is portability. It is definitely not as travel friendly as my Ioptron Smart EQ Pro. The tripod is very large and bulky, however it does have benefits, it also has its disadvantage with lack of portability. As stated previously, the lack of a battery pack, it does need to be hooked up to a 120 volt power source, which I am aware that there are workarounds for that, but out of the box I do wish it had that portability. That's about all I can think of for negative things on this tripod. It is very easy to set up, it's easy to pull or align, and it's very user friendly when tracking objects in the night sky, finding them. It has very fast slew speeds compared to the Ioptron Smart EQ Pro, and it is extremely quiet compared to the Smart EQ Pro as well. So no more worrying about disturbing your neighbors when you're out in your backyard trying to photograph the night sky. So tonight I am going to be taking this setup outside as you see it right here and I'm going to be photographing a special target that I've been saving up for this year and I plan to put a bunch of effort and time into the acquisition of the data so I can bring back an excellent image to show you guys. I'll see you out there. Tonight I will be shooting the Crescent Nebula. It's located about 5,000 light years away from us and it's about 25 light years wide. But I will also be shooting the surrounding region which is comprised of hydrogen and oxygen gas which fill the frame very nicely if I do it properly. I will be shooting in 10 minute long exposures tonight, which is the longest I've ever attempted. I'm doing this in hopes to capture deeper than I have ever captured before. Capture more faint nebulosity than I ever have. 